हेलो एवरीवन हेलो एवरी हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्टडी टू विन एजुकेशन इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ मेट्रोलॉजी एंड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आई एम गोइंग टू टीच ए कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूज ऑफ सिंपल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स लाइक स्पीयर्स रोलर्स स्लीप गेजेस माइक्रोमीटर हाइट गेज वर्नियर कैलिपर फॉर द कॉम्प्लेक्स मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट एंगल्स विड्थ एंड रेडियस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल explain how to measure the taper angles using this simple instrument for various mechanical uh, components our first component for discussion is dowel joint this is dowel shape joint part and this is the angle that i am going to measure in this case so here the blue color part is the actual part and the red color uh, spheres and this rectangles are the extra things that i have kept on the part our aim is here to measure this angle without using a complex measuring instrument or difficult to use measuring instruments so we have two spheres of same diameter let's say this has a diameter d so this will also have a diameter d and these two spheres will also have a diameter d first of all keep this two spheres at the corner of this part as shown in the figure with the help of micrometer take the reading outside the spheres and ma mark it as a l1 note it as a l1 after that remove these two spheres keep the slip gauge blocks on the part as shown in the figure and keep the rollers or spheres on the slip gauge and take the diameter take the measurement outside the uh, spheres and let's call it as a l2 and the height of slip gauge is known that is h so with this details i can be able to find the angle of this particular dowel shape component for that purpose i have to make some constructions arrangement what i'll do i will join this two uh, centers of two different rollers or spheres with a dotted line and i will complete the construction as shown in this figure let's call this uh, roller center as a o1 this as a o2 and this is a a now this is the angle that we are trying to measure theta now apply the simple formula tan theta is equal to o2 a divided by o1 a we know o2 a is equal to height of slip gauge plus radius of the roller minus radius of this roller but since the uh, roller radius are same so i can write this as a side o2 a is equal to nothing but slip gauge height h now o1a can be found out easily using l1 and l2 we have l2 let's take half of the l2 l2 by 2 so we have this much distance now subtract a uh, subtract a d by 2 from it minus d by 2 so we have distance from this point to this center then what you do you subtract L one by two from it minus L one by two. So what you have now is this much distance a two here, but you want a two o one. So you have to add this radius. So add d by two. That means I can cancel this out, and what remains is h upon L two by two minus L one by two. Theta is equal to tan inverse of so with this formula i can be able to find this theta with simple instrument now look at this diagram this is called as a taper ring gauge this is called as a taper ring gauge
now our intention here is to find this included angle cone angle with two different diameter spheres and depth gauge now what i'll do in the component first i'll put this smaller sphere i will note down the depth h1 and then i will put a larger sphere obviously first i will remove the smaller sphere and then i'll put the larger sphere and i'll note down the distance or the depth h2 as shown in the figure then make some geometrical corrections uh, constructions i will join the center of these two spheres so this line is nothing but line o1 o2 which is bisecting this angle then draw the touching point to the center draw the lines from touching point to the center by geometry this is always a 90 degree this is always a 90 degree because sphere always touch the surface at 90 degree and then draw the parallel line along the surface from o1 you will get this triangle let's call it as a, a. now apply uh, sine principle sine theta by 2 why i am writing theta by 2 because this is theta by 2 which is actually half of the total angle here i'll write sine theta by 2 is equal to o2 a divided by o1 o2 so we have theta by 2 here what is o2 a is nothing but radius of this roller minus radius of this roller that is let's call the radius here r2 minus r1 divided by o1 o2 it can be found out from this h1 and h2 so we have distance h1 so h1 plus radius r1 so we have this total distance still here but we want o1 to o2 so subtract h2 so minus h2 and subtract r2 minus r2 so here we got a formula theta by 2 is equal to sine inverse of this formula like this you can uh, calculate the uh, different angles of the different component using a simple instruments like roller spheres depth gauge height gauge and so on i hope you like this lecture thanks for watching the video have a great day thank you